All right, good afternoon, students, or good morning, depending on what time you're watching this. Um, so what I'd like to do here is just go over some uh, homework stuff from 3.5 that we didn't get a chance to talk about in the notes in class, because uh, this section is a little bit dense. So let's go over a couple things. Um, what you're going to notice here is the first part, your book doesn't have these red, <laughs> these red lines, so these are actually the answers, but I don't mind showing that to you. What it is, though, you just got to match which ones with which. Okay, so there's a bunch of complicated equations. How are you supposed to know which one's which? Well, there's a couple things. Exponentials should be easier to point out because they're going to have the actual uh, x up in the exponent spot. You're going to notice that with the exponential one. So like right here, let's turn this a little bit just this way. Here we go. Sorry about that. Let's refocus it. Okay. So for this one, the b to the x, the x is up in the exponent spot. That's clearly going to be an exponential, okay? But it's a negative, so it's actually decreasing. So that's a negative exponential or dk. Whereas this one would be e to the bx. x, again, is in the exponent spot, so that is exponential. Uh, let's see. The difference between logs, natural log, ln, and common log, base 10. So those are obviously the log ones. And then between the Gaussian... And logistic, um, part of that is just knowing the formulas. I'm not going to ask you to memorize all those. Uh, and you're like, well, where would I know those from? In the beginning of the section, you're going to find all the way back, they actually have, let's go over to here, all these models. So that's going to be your page that's really going to help you out, all these ones. We went over these in class. Mainly we talked about the names of them because that's what I want you to remember. The equations, well, ln, I'm going to hope you know is the natural log model, so we should know that. And e to the x, yeah, you should know that's exponential, and e to the negative x should be exponential gk. So that's where those things come from. That's how you're going to answer the first uh, about 10 questions or more on the homework. So let's go back to the homework then. So well, that's uh, one through number ones like that, all these ones. They have a picture of the graph. You need to match them with the equation. Again, flip back to the first part of the section here, and uh, that'll help you out with that. <clears throat> now, here's what I really want to focus on. Okay, um, so these problems here, we're gonna a couple things. We're gonna need a calculator for them, and um, we may or may not have covered all the stuff we need. So that's where I need to sort of help review that stuff with you. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take a look at the first one. A um, couple things. You'll notice the instructions say, uh, complete the table for a sigma's count, which interest is compounded continuously. So if you're not familiar with compounded continuously, don't worry. All it is is there's an equation, and it goes A, let's move this over a little bit, equals PE to the RT. Okay. Uh, back in the day, we used to call this the shampoo equation because there's a shampoo called PERT. Not very popular anymore, so I won't bother calling it a shampoo equation. Okay, now all this is looks bad because there's no numbers. Well, it turns out E is a number called Euler's number. And it's named after the mathematician Euler. Okay, you don't need to memorize what it is yet. Um, it's in the calculator if you forget it. Okay, R is for rate, T is for time. Okay, now the time and the rate couple things. This one is clearly in years. They're telling you that, okay, um, based on the problem statement. The rate will always be a decimal, all right? What I mean by that is if they give you 7%, that's really 0.07, because that's what 7% is. Okay, so what's P? P is something called principal, which is also your starting amount. I don't know. I honestly don't know why they call it principal. It's some sort of financial thing. I'm sure there's a reason, but I don't know, and I'm not going to ask you to know. So, all right. Last thing, A is for the amount. Now you're like, wait, I thought this was the amount. Well, this is the ending amount. Okay. So now that we know all that, that helps a whole bunch. Each one of those things is a part of the equation. So if you go back down to this one, ten thousand initial investment. So that's our starting amount. That's our principal. Okay. P 
percent rate. Well, there it is. That's going to go in for R. Time to double. We don't have that. An amount after 10 years, we don't have that either. Okay. But we have, we have most of the variables we need, and we're going to be able to find the amount. So let's go through this. Uh, there's two parts. There's two things we need, and we're going to have to do both parts. Okay, so here we go. First, we're going to do time to double. All right, there we go. Time to double. And I'll bring down my equation again. A equals PERT. And again, in the equation, $10,000 is our start. So go $10,000. Make sure we put 10,000. Okay. Uh, e is the button on the calculator. It's a number. It's Euler's number. It's 2.7 something. But again, it, the calculator is going to give us exactly what it is. Now, here's the key thing. Do not put 3.5 for the rate. That 3.5%, which has a rate, is 0.035. Okay, because you always move it two decimal places. So 3.5% is really 0 0.035 when you're calculating. All right. Uh, T. We don't know T. That's what they're asking. It's the time to double. Well, then we're stuck. Okay. Because what we have here is we need something else. T is our variable. We can't solve it unless we know it's on this side. And that's what they didn't tell you. But let's think about that. If you want it to double and you started with 10,000, you want it to double to 20,000. So they didn't tell us that's the ending amount, but they want it to double, so that makes sense. That's our ending amount. Okay, so how are you going to play this? Well, one way is you can guess and check numbers in T until you get a value that gets you close to 20,000. Now, depending on your guessing skills, uh, you might guess that pretty quickly. Uh, but that's not the way we want to go about this. Okay, so thing is, we got the, the variable up in the exponent spot, so we're clearly going to have to use logarithms. Not yet, but we will. Before we go into logs, let's get it down to just the base. All right. So in order to get just the base, we're going to divide both sides by 10,000. That will cancel out all of that, and we'll just have 2 on this side. It's already looking a lot better. All right. Now we got that. Now we're going to change into log form. Before I do that, though, I, I kind of prefer, personally, I kind of prefer the, uh, the E to be on this side. All right. So over here, we're going to have to recall, so we'll recall, recall that if you had, like, let's say it was like 4 to the 2 equals 16, in log form, that'd be log base 4 of 16 equals 2. So over here, same sort of thing. Log base E of 2 equals 0.035t. Again, E is the base. 2 is what it's equal to, so we take log of 2 with base E. And logs always equal to exponent. Now, what the heck do you do there? Well, I don't know log base E. My calculator does. In fact, the calculator knows this part as ln. Log base E is the same as ln. So ln of 2 equals 0.035t. Now we're going to turn to the calculator. Stat here. Uh, turn to the calculator. So two buttons here. There's the log button. There's the ln button. That's what we want for natural log. We want this natural log button. So we're doing ln of 2. ln of 2. That's it. 0.6931, blah, 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 blah. Let's go 0 0.693. And there you go. Oh, we want t alone, so divide by that. And that's it. So t would be 0.693 divided by 0.035 and 19.8. Now, does that make any sense in terms of an answer? Well, again, we're talking about time. We're talking about years. And uh, what you'll find when we do talk about money, 20 years is about mm, fair for doubling, a, doubling time if you're at about 3.5%. Okay. So this does make sense. What wouldn't make sense is if you got a negative. You can't have negative time. That wouldn't really make sense in terms of most problems. So that's what I mean in terms of uh, does it make sense, does it not make sense, does it work, does it not work. So 
that is number 13. And um, the other part about it is very, very similar. Uh, now that we have this, we can answer part two. The amount of after 10 years, whoops. The amount after 10 years. We can now find that. All right. So let's back it up for a second here. Now what we found, we know our rate is 0 0.035. We know um, principal is 10,000. Oops, sorry. I'll make sure we can see that. And um, the this time we're now going to say 10 years. So now we're going to say we know T equals 10 years. So for this part of the problem, it's actually a lot faster. A equals 10,000. E is the 0.035 times 10. We have all the things we need. We have the principal, we have the rate, and we have the time. Throw this into a calculator. Now, when you put this in a calculator, that's the only part you have to be careful about, is type it in correctly. So let's see if we can fit this both on the screen. Get to focus this. So 10,000. See if we can focus that a little better. It's sort of having some issues here. Okay, we'll see what we can do. 10,000. Now you got to go second and then E button. My calculator has an E button. Yours should too. 0 0.035. And this calculator is nice. You'll notice it gave us the parentheses, solves us that problem. All right, so just type it in exactly as it looked. Blam. There's your answer. 1490.68 we will round it off. And again, what was that? That was your amount. And now you can understand why you want to invest your money as you get older and you get at a real job. 10000 bucks can become $14,000 with no working. Just make sure to invest it in the right type of account and your money can start growing. All right. So that's now you're on your, on your way to becoming rich. All right. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.